When I was 20 years old, I moved to Hawaii. I got my first camera. I just remember being young, scared to move away. I didn't really know what to expect at the time. Well, I could sit here and talk to you all about it. Let me show you instead. Today is officially the day that I'm leaving. Really, starting today, like, everything about my life I know is gonna change. Extremely a little nervous for it. You know, I mean, I'm moving across the world by myself. I mean, that's a little, it's a little scary. Um, I can't wait to look back on this video. I'm nervous, and I know it's all gonna work out. So Dylan, if you're watching this in the future, I just wanna let you know that if you have a bad day, or if, you know, like, something isn't going in the right direction, do everything in your power to control what you can control and just stay positive. Today is the day all of it starts, so let's go. All right, good morning vlog. Officially made it to Hawaii. There she is. Let's just film and see what happens. A little backstory. So I rented a moped for two weeks. I actually was taking college classes there. Class wasn't really a thing and I had like all this free time. So I went two weeks early and I explored the entire island of Oahu on this little moped and it was the best time. I'll stop interrupting, let's get back into it. So during my first week there, I had so much independence, freedom, everything was new and I was just exploring the whole island on that little moped I had. Oahu was truly beautiful, but there just felt like there was one thing kind of like missing in, in those two weeks. I started to really feel like alone and it wasn't until the high of like arriving kind of wore off for me to feel like that. So I kind of hit like a low pretty early on. And we're rolling. Today's August 13th, 2022. I'm not really doing that well. I, I haven't slept in like a week really. I'm really sunburned right now. Okay, so the two things that were the most challenging at first was I was staying in a cheap like YMCA, like a hostel, and it was like a concrete like box. It had no AC and this is like August in Hawaii. Like it was 95 degrees. And the thing about concrete walls is that there is literally no airflow. And I booked it for like two weeks. So yeah, it was kind of my own fault. And that was the first big lesson I learned. So hot in this room and like the room is right on the street. So like, it's just loud all day. Yeah, so I was able to bring like my fan and pillows and stuff, but like, it's pretty brutal in here. I mean, I'll give you guys like a little tour. So, I mean, I got a sink. Um, here's my shower. The good news is, is that I have all my like comfort stuff, which is good. It's making, honestly, this whole thing a lot better. But this room's a little box and it's really hot. It's not going the way, you know, I thought it, whoa, sorry. The second big lesson I learned was wear sunscreen and use sun protection out there. I was fried from riding around on my moped, like 
borderline sun poisoning. So that's another huge reason why I was not doing well. So I remember calling my mom, telling her that I was going through it and that I was going through some challenges and she just made me feel better about everything. It's like a uh, vagabond living right now. Yeah, yeah. I knew that was gonna happen. But, you should go to the mall. Yeah, I'm gonna do that today. Go to the mall. It's nice and cool there. Stay out of the sun for at least two days. Try to yeah. find things to do indoors. So don't worry, things get better for me. I end up meeting some friends and Things start to look up. Don't go anywhere, we're gonna get there. For the next week, I continue to explore the island on my little moped, and I was counting down the days until my friends arrived. I was so excited to finally have people to talk to and share these new experiences with. Before I knew it, they were here. So two weeks in, everything started to look up. I finally had people to hang out with. We're exploring more and more of the island. And it seems like this adventure was just getting started. Welcome to MTV, and this is my crib. Hey, nothing crazy, but she got the job done. Say good morning. <laughs> so we use the bus system to get around Oahu. It's pretty good actually, but if you miss it, I mean, you might have to wait up to an hour to get another bus. So we were kind of debating what to do because we just missed the bus. There's no better way to pass time than watch annoying funny videos with your friends. So the bus finally came and once we got there, we would actually have to sprint to make this sunrise. I mean, we were cutting it super close. This ended up being the coolest sunrise of my life. I brought my camera, we filmed some super yeah. sick videos and honestly, like, Still to this day, it was probably the coolest morning ever. Moments like this, where I look back and I don't regret leaving home. I mean, I had everything at home. I had a solid friend group, solid family, 
why would I leave? I was away for a long time. And honestly, some of my relationships completely faded. And to this day, two years later, they never recovered. But I guess that's just the beauty of stopping something old and starting something new. You create this fresh life for yourself, full of new experiences and new beginnings. To me, that's a fulfilling life.